What's up everyone? So it's a really nice day here in Hamilton. So I decided to come to downtown and uh, get some street photography using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. See how well it does. It's really nice out here. I mean, it's still freezing cold, but the day has been pretty nice. Um, you can see the sunset behind me. Super nice, super nice. It's been partly cloudy, partly sunny. So it's a mix of both. So. I'm gonna get some shots here walking around the city and the best part is I forgot my gloves and my hands are freezing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and get like as many photos as I can but it's gonna be hard. <laughs> So I've been walking for about an hour now and trying to get as much shots, as many shots as possible. Um, so I hope they turn out really good. Um, I can't wait to go home, edit them on the iPad Pro, the M1 iPad Pro. I, I've been loving editing photos on the iPad Pro. It's just so good. But um, the iPhone takes really great photos, but we well it's a little too sharp for my taste plus it uses a lot of software to get those hdr shots to expose the highlights and the shadows properly and sometimes they don't turn out really nice i mean i prefer to do i prefer to edit my shots and you know get them to look the way i want to look but um yeah it still it still shoots amazing photos and i mean when you're doing street photography um, you know, when you catch something, when you see something interesting, you just want to get out your camera and like quickly take a photo of it. So if you don't have your DSLR with you or it takes a long time to set it up, you can just like use your iPhone 13.
Bah. <rire> Dis-moi. T'as les quoi ça? Wow. Recuerdos míos de esa noche. Cuando yo te tuve ahí aquí. Solo pa' mí. My hands are freezing, but I hope those photos are worth it. Anyways, I'm done shooting photos for today, and I'm just uh, about to head home after grabbing some hot chocolate from Tim Hortons. And I can't wait to edit these photos and see what they turn out to be. And I'm sure, I'm sure they're gonna turn out really good. I, I shot all of them in RAW. And here's something I also do for almost all of my YouTube videos. I film almost all of them using my iPhone. For the last year, I've been using the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I've been using my iPhone 13 Pro Max to record all of my videos for YouTube. And I use it for my vlogs as well. It's really nice that there's the cinematic mode and you're able to choose the depth of field in it. It's not as good as DSLRs, but it's still pretty good. It's still really nice to have that feature. Unfortunately, for now, it only works in 1080p and 30 frames per second. But what I really like about that is you can change the depth of field after you shot the video in cinematic mode, which is pretty cool. I film all my videos in HDR. I have the Moment Pro app and uh, in case I want to film videos in D-Log or Flat Color Profile. What's been your experience using the iPhone 13 series? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. How's your experience shooting photos and videos with your iPhone 13? If you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe as it helps out this video and this channel. A like would be appreciated because my hands were, were pretty freezing out there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.